Uh, hi, my name's Arnold. I'm going to present this work on behalf of my collaborators at the University of Victoria, uh, Melissa Frederick and Alexandra. Uh, so just to give some context about the problem we're working on, uh, in the last decade we've seen a massive increase in e-learning and online courses for uh, post-secondary institutions. The integrity of exams for these courses relies heavily on uh, video conference and vigilation performed manually by a remote proctor. Uh, but doing post-exam review is cumbersome and labor-intensive, uh, so we wanted to come up with a vision-based video content analysis system for the automatic creation of video summaries of these online exams to assist remote proctors in finding uh, normal and abnormal behavior. Uh, videos of online exam typically show online exams typically show only the student's head and upper torso because of the webcam's field of view. Uh, head movements are the key information in the context of this kind of video. Uh, since we're interested in finding abnormal behavior, uh, there are two important factors. First of all, normal and abnormal behavior is subjective. For instance, a student looking away from the screen for a moment while they're thinking might be viewed as normal by uh, one proctor and abnormal by another. And also, abnormal behavior is dynamic, so we need a sequential analysis. A single frame isn't going to be enough to get us what we want. So I'm going to go over the uh, overview of the approach now. The first step is head pose estimation. We achieve this using a particle filter, uh, where each particle is a hypothesis of the head's location and size. The head appearance is modeled with spatiograms for a set of five uh, poses, frontal, up, down, left, and right. The head pose is estimated at each frame from a vote among particles by comparing their spatiogram with exemplars. Uh, the second step is to do behavior modeling, and we achieve this with a hidden Markov model. Uh, the hidden Markov model has two hidden states, normal and abnormal and the uh, observations are the five head poses. So using this model, each frame is classified as either normal or abnormal given the head pose and the learned model parameters. Uh, finally, we summarize the video just by concatenating all the sections with uh, abnormal behavior together. Uh, we collected a data set for this uh, using a s simulating a student sitting in front of a webcam in the process of taking an online exam. Uh, since the behavior is subjective, we collected ground truth data using several annotators where if any of them thought that there was abnormal behavior, the, uh, the time was marked as abnormal. When we evaluated our approach on this data set, results were promising. Uh, we got almost 80% uh, behavior recognition rate and a video compression rate of 1.84. Uh, these experiments demonstrate the viability of our approach. Uh, it's worth noting that we expect in real exam situations the abnormal frames would be a lot less frequent yielding uh, a lot better compression ratios. So there are two main contributions of this work that I hope you'll remember. Uh, first of all, from a theoretical viewpoint, we've contributed a novel student behavior pattern model using high-level observations, which are the head poses, and a semantically meaningful two-state normal abnormal hidden markup model. Uh, secondly, from a practical viewpoint, We've uh, contributed a high-level content-based video summarization system, which is the first of its kind, and it simplifies the task of remote invigilators by automatically extracting potentially abnormal behavior segments. Uh, thank you, and please come see me at uh, poster C3 if you have any questions.